When working with Google Maps, there may be times where you want to get the latitude and longitude of a location based on where the user has just touched. And once we have the longitude and latitude, then we can get into what's called reverse geocoding, where we can derive the address information from the longitude and latitude. So the first step in this is to get the longitude and latitude of an area that was touched on the screen. So for example, if I come up here and I tap on a location, we're just going to do a toast so that we can get the longitude and latitude. And then we'll work that into some other options where we can do reverse geocoding to get other information. So I'm going to go back to my Java. And if you have an overlay to the map, which we already have because we have our push pin on our overlay, we can override the on touch event method within the map overlay class. So within our map overlay class, we can override the on touch event and then convert information from what was tapped on the screen into what's longitude and latitude for the map. So to start out with, I've added some more import statements in the top. So I have motion event, and we're also importing the toast widget so that we're going to use the toast to display the longitude and latitude information. And I've already added the on touch event, and we're just going to take a look at what's making our example work. So again, this is inside the, the map overlay class that's extending the overlay. So the on touch event, this is going to be fired every time the user touches the map. And it has two parameters, motion event and map view. So we have motion event, which we're calling event, and map view that we're just calling map view. So by using the motion event parameter here, we can determine whether the user has lifted their finger from the screen and then use a get action method. And in our case, the get action method is going to fire off when the user lifts their finger. And when that happens, then we're going to go in reverse order now. The last example, we went from map location, X and Y coordinate, longitude and latitude, to screen pixels. Now we have to go the other way. So first of all, we're getting the point on the screen. We're getting the X and Y value of where the user tapped on the screen. And then we're going to make a toast and use the longitude and latitude information to display our toast. So again, in this point, the get projection from pixels is going to take the pixel information and convert it back into map longitude and latitude. When this works, we have the longitude and latitude display in the toast. Now, that may not be tons of useful information to the user to know what their longitude and latitude is, unless of course they're giving it to somebody where you can pop those into your phone or GPS and it give you directions there. But we can also reverse geocode that so that we can get the address of a location that was just touched. So if you're showing this on screen and the user taps here, they want to know the address, then they'll be able to get that information. So what we're going to do from here is instead of displaying the longitude and latitude to the user with a toast, we're going to show them the reverse geocoded information. So I'm going to comment out the toast line, and instead we're going to replace it with some code that will allow us to do a reverse geocode. So after commenting out the previous toast, I've added code in here to do our reverse geocoding. Now Google Maps in Android supports the geocoder class in order to allow us to do reverse geocoding. So this shows you how to retrieve the address of a location touched on the screen by using the get from location method. So the get from location method. The geocoder object converts latitude and longitude into an address using the get from location method and once we get the address, you display it in the toast class. So these are all the processes of going through, converting it, and getting the address, and then displaying our toast. Now, when I run this in my emulator, 
you would be inclined to think that when I tap on the screen, the address would show up. And even though I'm zoomed in pretty close here, if I zoom out and I go to some other areas where there would be, you know, addresses on other buildings, nothing is happening. But if I plug in a device and I test this on the device, it works fine. It's a bug in the emulator. And so the forums are just full of questions and people with issues with this. If I come back into my logcat, you can see that as you tap, we get service not available. And we can't use the geocoder get from location. And it just seems to be a bug that's in the emulator because when it runs on an actual device and you tap an area, the address pops right up. So unfortunately, unless you have a device to test this on, you won't be able to see this particular feature.